What's up? Today we are discussing Scott Disick. He enjoys three-hour cozy chat with busty Larsa Pippen. Two years after close Kardashian friendships turned ugly, presently watch this, share with your companions, and we're accompanying selective subtleties in this video. Scott Disick was spotted enjoying a cozy poolside chat with Larsa Pippen this week, as the pair attended a friend's birthday celebrations in Miami, Florida on Tuesday. It's not the first time the pair have been seen together, despite Larsa having a well-documented fallout with Kim Kardashian in 2020, though she has since claimed that their petty feud is over. The former Real Housewives of Miami star put on a flirty display in a revealing outfit as she chatted with Kourtney Kardashian's ex-partner by the pool for around three hours, though not pictured was Scott's current girlfriend, Rebecca Donaldson. Scott and Rebecca made their red carpet debut at the premiere for the Kardashians in Hollywood two weeks ago. Larsa and Scott were pictured chilling at the Satai Hotel in Miami, for friends David Einhorn's birthday. Einhorn is the owner of restaurant Poppy Steak in Miami, where Larsa resides. She showed off her cleavage in a plunging black top as she sat with Scott on a sun lounger, as they appeared to have a lot of catching up to do. An eyewitness claims that Larsa sat with Scott the whole time she was at the pool area and never left his side except to go to the restroom. Earlier this year, Larsa claimed that she had mended her fractured relationship with former BFF Kim Kardashian after they famously fell out in 2020. In any case, before subtleties, if it's not too much trouble, prefer our channel, and hit the ringer symbol, and afterward select the choice, all notices, with the goal that we can keep you in contact sometime later. In early 2021, amid their tense feud, Scott showed his loyalty to Lara when they were spotted having lunch together in Miami, with sources at the time saying the talentless CEO had no hard feelings toward Larsa. Larsa and Kim's friendship appeared rocky when Larsa began talking about Kim's husband Kanye West, claiming that the rapper would often call her up on the phone in the early hours of the morning to chat. There were also rumors that the Kardashian-Jenner family gave Larsa the cold shoulder because she had history with serial cheater Tristan Thompson, Khloe Kardashian's ex. In November, 2020, Larsa claimed that Kanye had brainwashed Kim and her family against her. Claiming she had done nothing to cause a rift at the time, Larsa alleged Kanye turned against her when she blocked him after getting sick of his constant early morning calls. The jewelry designer told Hollywood Raw Podcast, Kanye has literally brainwashed the whole family into thinking, I don't even know what. He talks so much about me being this and that and this and that. I just feel like Kanye was in a place where he really didn't trust anyone with Kim. Larsa said that she believes it was blocking Kanye's calls which caused the issue. She said, he used to call me at 4, 5, and 6 o'clock in the morning. I was the person that would take his calls when he wanted to rant. I would listen to him. I would be like, I love you you're the best, things will get better. I was his go-to person to call when he wasn't happy with X, Y, and Z how that turned? She continued, maybe because I blocked him on my phone because I couldn't bear taking his calls anymore. I can't, I'm drained. So, I blocked him on my phone. Obviously, that really upset him. So, he turned that into, oh she's this and she's that. They all started to ride his wave. If you're that easily swayed, like the wind, then do I really give a beep should I give a beep? I don't know, was I hurt by it? Yes, but at the same time, I'm like, I've done nothing. I've never done one thing. I've been the most honest and truthful best friend to all of them. But in January this year, Larsa claimed that her beef with the family is now behind her. I feel like we're in a really good place. You know, I feel like there was a lot, of, miscommunication at the time, she told. Larsa added, We've all apologized to each other. We're in a really good place. Meanwhile, the new reality series The Kardashians has shown how Scott has struggled to come to terms with seeing his ex Courtney be happy and move on with her new fiancé Travis Barker. He also said in a confessional that it might be time to start dating more age-appropriate women. Much obliged for watching and a debt of gratitude is in order for your valuable time. We trust that you observed this story intriguing. Kindly remark your perspectives down in the remark area. Share this story with your companions and we'll see you sometime later.